The gentleman from Franklin 57 has served this chamber for more than two decades, and he is and will forever will be the first African American to lead a caucus here in the Kentucky House of Representatives. For all of us, he's been a mentor, a friend, and a source of institutional knowledge. The only thing that troubles me is that now he has chosen to leave us to retire at the end of this year. He will be deeply missed. He also leaves behind a long and indelible legacy. He grew up almost in the literal shadow of this Capitol building, and he got his first taste of representative government when he became a student regent at his alma mater, Kentucky State University. In the 1990s, he served our state capitol as a city commissioner, and he was elected to serve here in this body in 2002. His day job for much of his career was just a short drive away at Frankfurt High School, where he taught social studies. It was a fitting subject given his love of history and his understanding of how important our past is to our present and to our future. Just as the gentleman from Franklin was a leader in the classroom, he has been a strong advocate for public education here in the Capitol. He chaired the budget review subcommittee that oversaw this critical part of state spending, and he chaired the House Education Committee. In those roles, he helped to strengthen our schools and never wavered in his support for those who learn and work in them. The same can be said for all that he has done on behalf of our state government and those who have dedicated their time and talents to benefit all of us. They have been able to rest a little easier knowing that he was here on their behalf. On a more personal note, the gentleman from Franklin has been a good friend of mine since I was elected more than five years ago and have thoroughly enjoyed working with him and our caucus feels much the same way. We are fortunate to call him our leader. I could spend a lot longer talking about the gentleman, Mr. Speaker, but let me end by saying that these Black History Month moments have been a wonderful addition to our day this month. I've learned so much over the years, and one indelible lesson I will never forget is that many of these heroes did not have the chance to appreciate the accolades that they get now. That is why I think it's so important that we recognize the many accomplishments of someone we all know and who deserves recognition. With that in mind, please join me in paying a warm tribute to the gentleman from Franklin 57.